a strategist? Me and you are more than enough, don't you think, brother? I would like to agree. But to fight Cow Cow and restore the Han Dynasty, we will need a well-devised strategy. This is your third visit. I am honored, my lord. Master Liang, does this mean you will join us? Yes. As your strategist, I will guide you to destiny. The Allied forces succeed in foiling the evil ambition of Dong Zhuo. However, this is only the beginning of an age of unrest. The numerous leaders of the Allied forces return to their territories and begin their personal quest to take over the land. However, Liu Bei does not have a land to return to, so he begins what is to become a long period of wandering. For a time, he serves on the Cao Cao, but it is clear that the two heroes cannot coexist. He soon leaves and takes refuge with Liu Biao in the Jing province. Seeing Liu Bei as a threat, Cao Cao sends an army to Jing. Knowing that he cannot win the battle, Liu Bei flees. His only hope to face the giant Wei army is to form an alliance with Wu. For now, the priority is to live to fight another day. Alright, so here is the next act. Act 3, I mean we've been here already. And... Just like the last time I played this act, I'm going to go straight into the battle of Cherby. The only difference is I'm going to allow the fire attack to happen because they get that last, well, second to last tail, the one I was referring to and I kept on messing up on. Well, I only messed up once, but we need to make sure act five is to fall away. In order to do that, we have to make sure the fire attack succeeds. So, well, not, not only that, I'm actually going to allow the chain event, the prayer, all of that to happen here. So, anyway, let's change characters because I'm not going to play as Guan Yu here. I played as him last time, so, well, in the last part. So, I'm going to play as Yui Ying because I only played as a one time, if I'm not mistaken. And now that the Battle of Wuzhong Plains, the first time we're actually playing the story mode with going through every single level. So, and she has a second costume, so, might as well. And there you go. All right, so equipment. I know I have to adjust some things here. The weapon we have is a level four martial spear. We should be able to get to level five by the end of it. Uh, obviously at a horse, I am very tempted to keep the lightning orb, but uh, let's just stick with the four pull and. Hmm. Alright, I'll use the Peacock Hearn. Rather be safe than sorry. Bodyguards are the same. Objectives are the same. We have to defeat Cao Cao to win. If Sun Jian is defeated, if I die, or if we run out of time, we lose. It's a game over. Plain and simple. Unit info. It's the same thing. Sun Jian, Lu Su with Yue Ying, which is me. Chang Pu with Zhu Ran and Zhu Ge Jin. Zhou Yu with Jian Xin and Xu Huan, Ling Tang, Han Dang with Zhang Qi, Dang Xi, Pan Zhang with Xu Shang, and Zhuge Liang with Pang Tong. And then they have Cao Cao with Jia Xu and Cheng Yu, Xu Zhu with Mon Chang, Zhen Ji, Cao Ren with Xun Yu, Cao Hong, Yu Jin with Xun Yu, Sai Mao, Cao Pi with Xu Xu and Zhu Ling. And then Li Dian and Yui, uh, Yui Jin will appear as uh, reinforcements. But uh, anyway, enough of that. Let's do it. And uh, like I said, we're going to make sure we have everything fall the way it has to fall. We really need the fire attack to happen, but uh, the other two events works too. So, we're going to defeat Zhu Ling first. Alright, 
Alright. Alright, he's down. Very quickly. And, uh... I'm gonna grab that Musu wine since it's right there. It should be anyway. Whoa. Okay, what the fuck? What the actual fuck was that? You see that? Or was it just me? All right, I'm off to work then. We'll come back from Monchong later. We're gonna actually help Pong Tong to get through the uh, chain event. So we have to defeat Shushu. And if I'm not mistaken, if you defeat Shushu, he'll go straight for it. But he'll go straight for the boats. So. Uh, that should be very interesting. But the fact that they glitched out like that. <laughs> oh, shit. If this plan is going to work, we'll have to deal with Shuju. So we could go straight for him, defeat Shuju, and then he'll go straight for the docks. Because in the story, well, I've seen the anime anyway. I think it kind of worked like it in Dynasty Warriors 8, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a while since I played 8. But, uh, Shushu seen through Pong Tong's ploy of the chains. And, uh, if I'm not mistaken, someone could please correct me on it, because I know I'm going to be wrong. But, uh, what was it? Um,. He just allows it to happen because apparently he had uh, Sao Sao as an enemy because uh, my, what I saw in the anime had something to do with uh, his family or something. But uh, like I said, it's been a long time since I've read the encyclopedia. This is good. The ships will be stable now. And there you go. And he will immediately retreat. Please protect the altar until the wind blows. And we'll go and defeat Lee Dian. Uh, does Yui Jin have a general? I mean, a general officer? No, just those two. That works. The enemy is strong. We'll defeat Lee Dian first, since he's here. Alright, he's down. Whoops. Now we'll go to try to rescue Zhuge Liang before he gets killed, because if he does get killed, then we're fucked when it comes to the wind. Whoops. And this Musu attack should finish him off. Alright, he's down. And I'll make sure Zhuge Liang. I don't have to worry about him getting killed here because, ugh, that could be bad. I mean, we could fail the win. Uh, we could fail the wind from blowing, but we could still allow the fire attack to happen, which is kind of strange. But And it's a lot easier for the fire attack to be triggered when you're on the ways forces, unlike playing under the ally forces. Was that a private that was guarding, or that just that was a god? I think that was a god. That better have been a god. Anyway, we should be good here. I should. I think I should move on. I should be able to move on. I want to move on. But uh, yeah, let's just move on. And uh. We'll go and defeat the following. We'll go and defeat Shuju with Mon Chong. And then Shun Yu's on the other side. Alright. And we'll defeat Sao Ren as well. I mean This stage isn't different, you know, it's not it's different it's not different. Like any other time I played it, so I think the only difference here is I'm just going straight for the battle of Chirby and I'm making sure that the fire attack happens 
because the first time I played it, I allowed... Well, I played all the stages, obviously. Then I allowed the fire attack to happen. And Monchong is running away. Never mind. But yeah, that was the first time. Second time, I went straight for the Battle of Chirby and allowed the fire attack to fail. And now here, I'm going straight for the Battle of Chirby and I am making a fire attack, or well, allowing the fire attack to happen because we need that to happen. Because part of the conditions, other than for the fact, well, the two conditions that we need to make sure happen is, first off, we need to make sure the fire attack happens because the tail occurs after the fall away. And second, you have to make sure you have completed nine stages up to the point by the end of Act 5. And you gotta make sure the stage that you play in Act 5, the only stage that you play in Act 5, is the Battle of Wuzhang Plains. Maybe I should use a Musu attack to finish Shuju off. Whoops. What the fuck was that? And I just wasted a healing ointment. Okay, what was that? Okay, I'm being too fucking soft here. Yeah, I was just making sure that my bodyguards don't take the kill on me. But, uh... Let's see here. Okay. So now we'll defeat Shun Yu and Sao Ren, who are on the other side. It looked like an archer tried to knock me up. Wow. Are they that desperate? Or it's just me losing my mind here. But anyway, once we take care of... Uh, once we defeat... Uh, Shun Yu and Sao Ren, then we'll go and defeat Zenji because uh, Zenji will be the one to try to block one guy's attack, and uh, that can't happen. We need to make sure everything goes according to plan. And uh, here's Shun Yu right here. Whoops wrong person and I'm in the wrong direction oh wow I was not expecting that there is no magic here I know the southeast wind will blow on this day Might as well use it now. You may one day become a threat to you. It's done here. Alright, now Sal Ren. I was like, if I could get him off the horse. Wow, that was an epic fail. Holy shit, I totally forgot that the speed boots. Oh shit, you gotta be fucking kidding me. For the fact that they have a Musu clash like that, was a pain, it, that's a fucking pain in the ass. What? What the actual fuck? Was he pretty much invincible through that entire attack? There you go. You are the key to this plan. Gain good position for the carry out. Alright. Enemy officer defeated. I shall withdraw this time. Yeah, he kinda of survived a little bit too long in my opinion for my liking. 
being one hit away from getting killed. Because that was bullshit. But anyway, we're going to try to block as many troops as we can from getting towards one guy when he arrives. So, let's take it a step at a time. And it should be very easy for one guy to trigger the fire attack once I defeat Zenji. Alright, she's down. How irritating. And uh where the hell is my horse? Oh there it is, alright. Alright, we're down to the last few troops, and then, like I said, it should be really fucking easy for one guy to trigger this fire attack. Alright, I think we're down to the last two, and they're rat packs. So, well, a rat. So, there we go. Alright, it should be very easy now. And we're going to go and defeat Shun Yu. And then, uh, Yu Jin. Uh,. Soon you will be over here, and wow, he's only halfway there. So, we'll be able to defeat Shun Yu, and maybe Yui Jin, not Yui Jin, uh, Yu Jin by the end of it. Yui Jin's by Zhuge Liang, or was by Zhuge Liang. Alright, another one's down. And now Eugene. Now begin the fire attack. Once the fire's cast, victory will be ours. Yeah, I was kinda afraid that I was gonna be able to that I might trigger the fire attack before def <laughs> defeating uh, Yu Jin. But fortunately enough, he's dead, and the fire attack hasn't happened yet. It's gonna happen in a little bit. But it's just when. Alright, there we go. And pretty much all those troops will be wiped out. The ships being chained together, the fires can't be contained. The flames are spreading to all ships. Blast. The winds are feeding the flames. Well that is if you don't allow the chain event to happen. If you do, then all this will happen. If I'm not mistaken, if you uh, don't allow, the, if you don't allow Pong Tong to chain up the ships, then I believe the troops will still be here, or just not as much. It's been a long time since I've actually triggered the fire attack and not trigger, well, not allow uh, Pong Tong to uh, chain up the ships. So, Sal P's down. Uh, 
You got Sao Hong, Sai Mao, and then Sao Sao Jiashu and Chung Yu. So we'll go for Sai Mao next and then take it from there. I mean, like I said, the stage isn't that hard now since I've actually had a level 4 weapon. And, uh, it'll be at level 5 by the end of it. But more importantly, you know, the reason why I'm actually playing these stages again because I'm trying to trigger the uh, tails. And I, I, I know I said it before, and I'll say it here again. I could just play the stages off camera and go straight for the tails and record right then and there. But I'd rather not hide anything or for the fact that I've done it and you know that way you know from my perspective that I've done every part in that same particular order and shown it off and then everything has happened the way it happened so you know I don't want to show off something meanwhile it worked for me and for some reason it didn't work for anyone else or any particular person and I didn't really show off the stuff that happened in between th you know in all in between so anyway Jiyashu's down and uh, but yeah that's the reason why I'm actually showing off all of these little parts plus it doesn't hurt to have parts in there that involve weapon grinding I mean in a way all my weapons have to be the at the end of the day they have to be at level 9 in order for me to get the level 10 and a level 11 11 weapons well more so level 9 to get to level 10 because well once it's at level 10 it's still at max so once I get the last two tails we'll go and play wave stage well wave musu mode and then go from there, play woos, and then, you know, same spiel. But anyway, um, yeah, Sao Hong's next, and then we'll go and defeat Sao Sao. I mean, there's not really more much I can really say here. I hate the clashes more than anything. I mean, if there's a certain condition that requires time, that's the worst thing for me, is to clash with an enemy. And I think, I think I mentioned it, but I've done it three times with one particular officer or general, and that pissed me off. And I was actually timed to get something. So, that didn't help. But anyway, we defeated everybody when it comes to generals and officers. So now we're going to go and defeat Cao Cao. And then finish it off. Oh, shit. Let me get the dim sum. I totally forgot about that. It's over here. Now let's go for it. Without running into Sao Sao. Well, his attacks anyway. Yeah, don't even try it. And goodbye. And that's a win. Alright, so... Let's see how long that took. It didn't seem like it took a while. Nope. Only 18 minutes and 13 seconds. So, not bad. It could have been a lot worse, but not bad. Alright, 7 star stash. 
7 star sash again at level 3 this time. I think we had it at level 2. Taurus ammo at level 8. We already have it at 14. Now I'm on armor. Nothing. 7 star sash again. Peacock earn at level 5. Nothing. Okay. So we only got one item. The 7 star sash. But anyway. We have a KO count of 217. Which is pretty okay. For the fact that we actually have 235 points. For the opponents. We pretty much defeated everybody if I'm not mistaken. So there we go. We should have a good 5,500 points maybe. 6,000. 5,815. Alright, so that should send us to rank 10, maybe. Yep. Rank 9? Mm, I don't think so, no. Oh, oh rank 9, alright, awesome. So, yeah. And that's more than enough to get to level 5. And we'll probably be around 2,700, okay. 2,200 points, well technically 2,253 points from level 6, so yeah, anyway, bodyguards, I'm not really worrying about that much because it's at max, unless they level up again, which will be shocked, but I'm assuming the max is 20, yeah, it has to be 20, I, 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 I had played Dynasty Warriors 4 in different segments of my life, like your gaps and everything, but I never seen above 20. So anyway, we'll save. And I have to overwrite if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this one. So there you go. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you in the next part where we will take on. We probably might just go straight for the campaign for Chengdu again. Because I'm just trying to get through these Tales missions as fast as I can. And like I said, one of the requirements to get that last tail, not the battle rule. Uh, the battle rule nine, we have to go back and play Act Two again. But the battle of Hanzhong, which is basically Dong Zhuo lives, we have to get through the first five acts, going through nine stages or less, and we have to make sure Act Five, the only stage we play, is the battle of Wuzhong Plains. So, yeah. Anyway, peace out.